we're in northern Scotland in a beautiful old growth beach forest. And um, this is probably the largest chaga I have personally found in the wild. This is uh, known as Inanotus oblicus. And chaga has very strong antioxidant properties. Um, it is a strange mushroom because actually it's a sclerotium. It's a sterile uh, structure formed above ground. Most sclerotia are below ground. But what uh, this mushroom does do is when the tree dies, uh, a resupinate layer will form on the ground. Now, I personally have never found it. I don't know anybody who's ever seen it. Uh, it's been reported in scientific literature. Only forms when the tree dies. Now, if you remove the sclerotium, are you removing a keystone step in the process of the forming of this reproductive layer? This resupinate layer produces spores. Without the spores, then this fungus will not re reproduce. So these are unanswered questions. Um, but it's extraordinarily interesting that the mycelium uh, produces these same antioxidant and indeed antiviral properties. So there's no need to harvest uh, wild sclerotia uh, of chaga. It's really um, unnecessary because we can cultivate it. This is not sustainable in my opinion. The, it's like a gold rush right now. And I think this species is going to be severely impacted by wild harvesters. And since we can grow with the mycelium, that's an excellent way of us getting the benefits.